Are you worried about the amount of Vicodin you take and how much you actually enjoy taking it? Even if you're not physically addicted to it, does it seem to be taking over your thoughts, your actions, your life? Do you find yourself thinking about it constantly? When you can take your next pill, where to get more? If you answered yes to these questions, then you know you've got a problem that can only get worse. If you've ever tried to quit taking Vicodin, you may be shocked at just how hard that is to do. There are so many things you need to know before you quit taking Vicodin. You aren't just going to say to yourself, yeah, I'm not going to take that anymore and that's that. It would be nice if it were that way, but it's not. Quitting Vicodin may be the hardest thing you've ever done. Yeah, you'll start out with high hopes of not taking anymore, only to be slammed by the very strong desire to take some pills and feel that glorious high again. That's the way getting over any addiction works. You somehow have to make it past one desire after another until you are free of the habit. You need to have a step-by-step -step plan set up ahead of time, kind of like a detailed roadmap, so you know every step you're going to take when desires to take Vicodin hit you. And they will. There's no getting around that. You have to know exactly how to deal with those desires one by one so you can get free of this awful habit. And you need to know the things that you can do to make the whole process a whole lot easier by making these cravings much weaker than they would be normally. For more information on exactly what you need to know before you start getting off Vicodin, go to the link on the screen.